All right, we finished up a Diamante intake swap as well as DNA motoring stainless headers. These are mid-length headers or shorty headers more or less. Stainless steel. We've got a few miles on them. You can already see they're starting to change color. Um, I, I'm not going to lie. This is the best deal I've ever seen on headers. The headers, all the hardware and the white pipe, I would call it, all the way back to the, the muffler was $117 off eBay. Uh, shipping came quick, came in a nice box from DNA Motoring themselves. Um, this came with everything you need. Uh, gaskets, all the mounting bolts and hardware, everything. Uh, the only thing you need to save are the nuts that go on your header flanges and nuts and washers, and that's it. We did reuse the factory exhaust manifold gaskets. They're dual layer or multi-layer steel gasket instead of the ones that it came with. I'm not a fan of those compressed metal type gaskets that they come with. I did use them on the collectors as well as the uh, catback going into the muffler. Um, the only problem I ran into, and you run into this a lot with any type of aftermarket equipment, is the fitment of the header on the white pipe. This fit perfectly fine, but the header in the back, you can't even see it. The header in the back had too little of an angle. So you had to loosen the bolts or the nuts on the rear header, tighten down the collector, and then tighten down the bolts on the header uh, at the flange. Um, that's really the only thing we ran into. Otherwise, they fit perfect. The only thing you need to transfer is the hanger bracket bolts that go on the, the two little hangers there uh, where your converter used to be, and that's it. Everything else bolts up just fine. But I have been impressed. It's a lot louder than it was, and uh, it's not super fast, but it is a lot snappier than it used to be.